and an internal investigation into work done for Gupta-linked companies including Oak Bay Resources and Energy found the auditor fell short of its own standards and eight senior executives quit. KPMG's woes aren't confined to South Africa. In August, the firm agreed to pay more than $6.2 million to resolve allegations that it didn't adequately audit U.S. oil and gas company Miller Energy Resources Inc. Then this year, the UK Financial Reporting Council opened a probe into KPMG's audits of Carillion PLC, the builder that collapsed under a mountain of debt in January. Another consequence for KPMG South Africa has been a higher than normal rate of senior departures, according to Chief Executive Officer N. H. Lamudi Lomu. Chief Economist and Partner Lulu Krugel has joined PricewaterhouseCoopers LLP's South African unit, alongside fellow economics specialists Chris Evelyun and Maura Federson. Investigations abound in South Africa, KPMG is facing three probes. The Independent Regulatory Board for Auditors and the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants are both investigating the company, while a commission of inquiry has been set up by the government to probe allegations that the Gupta family siphoned off state money and influenced ministerial appointments. The Guptas, who have left South Africa, have denied wrongdoing. But for KPMG, sanctions could range from fines to being forced to close down. KPMG still believes its problems are such that it can manage by adding layers of new measures and new promises on top of a broken organizational culture and operational codes of behavior. Abedion said, KPMG needs to set up an independent team of people who aren't linked to the company to probe what went wrong, why it happened, and put out a public report irrespective of the consequences, he said, Bloomberg.